Annie from KetoFocus.com and I like to make different keto recipes. Today, I've teamed up with Chalk Zero and I'm gonna show you how to make something for those of you that are young at heart. We're making Frosted Circus Animal Cookies. Let's get started. To make the frosted animal cookies, you wanna start by sifting together your flours. You're gonna need one and a half cups of almond flour, a quarter cup of coconut flour, and we're gonna sift that together with a quarter teaspoon of salt. Set that mixture aside and we'll move on to our wet ingredients. In a medium bowl, cream together softened butter, one half cup of monk fruit, or you can use your sweetener of your choice, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then slowly stir in your dry ingredients and mix until it's combined. Before we start rolling out our dough and cutting out animal shapes, we actually need to let our dough cool. Transfer the cookie dough onto a sheet of plastic and then flatten it out into a disc shape. We're gonna refrigerate this for 30 to 60 minutes or until our dough is stiff. Next, we're gonna roll out our dough. So place it in between two pieces of parchment paper, roll it out until it's about a quarter of an inch thick, then take your cookie cutters and punch out your animal shapes. Place your animal sheets on a parchment lined baking tray and put it back in the refrigerator for another 15 minutes or so to cool. Now it's time to bake our cookies. We're gonna put them in a 350 degree oven. Remove the animal cookies from the oven and let them continue to cool on the baking tray for about two to three minutes before transferring over to a wire rack. And you're gonna let them cool completely on the wire rack. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna coat our animal cookies with melted white chocolate. So this is chocolate by Chalk Zero. It's sugar-free, sugar alcohol-free, and it's delicious. We're gonna melt this in the microwave at 30 second intervals, stirring in between until it's melted. Dip your animal cookies into the white chocolate and transfer to either a parchment lined tray or a wire rack to cool. You could also just spread the white chocolate on top of the cookie instead of covering the entire cookie. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. We want to see pictures of your animal cookies, so make sure you tag Chalk Zero, and don't forget to check out our website, chalkzero.com, to get all of your chocolate and for more fabulous recipes.